I learned so much actually just about technology, about genetic technology. I didn't know that much at all. Uh, and it was great to see how the group uh, dynamics worked as well. So we were all bringing information uh, and we shared our fears initially. So it was a great learning curve. You know, I'm not fully learned on the subjects and stuff. So ethically, I've got very strong opinions, but then I can really see the benefits and like uh, understand why people would do it and why there is research going on into it. So I think it's one of the things where just as it develops, as more stuff comes available to read and learn, I'm just going to have to really get involved <laughs> to, to, you know, uh, inform an opinion. I think that I am a little bit more informed and perhaps a little bit more open to the concept, whereas before I was definitely coming from more of a fear perspective. What I particularly like about the process is having a break in between the two sessions. So the first session uh, we had to deal with huge issues and I went away with more questions um, than I had answers. Uh, if I'm honest, but actually having that space to talk with my friends and to think about it and to do my own research was incredibly valuable um, because now, today, I feel that I've got a lot more out of it. Obviously not everybody has the same opinion. I've got my opinions about things, other people can be diametrically opposite, but I think it's been a, a healthy debate. I think it's been a really good process. Um, it was very interesting to find out all about it because as I said I don't know very much. It was good to speak to other people who knew varying things about it and the experts are just fabulous. I've never had to think about this. I've never had to think about genetic technology or genetic um, treatments or anything and then to sit with people who have thought about it has been challenging and rewarding and ultimately very very um, interesting and educational. I think as um, for scientists and wider uh, legislative bodies who are representing society, I think one of the most important things you can do is engage with society and find out what they really want. Um, so I think this process has um, a lot of scope and I think more institutions should be doing similar things. I hope that the Royal Society will use this information to create a very balanced view um, on the subject and for that then to be used by all the different parts so that it will encourage them to use the public again in future for each different stage that they go through on different subjects. For me the biggest thing that they need to bring out of this is that people need to understand about genetic technologies more. There is so much misinformation out there. People need to understand what the technology can do, they need to understand the safety of the technology that we have and the impact that it could have on our world and our planet. My hopes for the, for the Royal Society report is first and foremost transparency and what has come through from, from all our discussions as, as lay people, none of us are scientists, is that we really didn't know what was going on and there was a lot of fear in this. So I'm hoping from the report that it hears our voices um, and that it gives us a voice to what we've brought forward as well. But we are going to be the product of, of what's going to be given to us. So we're right at the end of that process. What, whatever the, the Royal Society is formulating in their report, it's going to be having an impact on us. I hope the Royal Society um, take away the, the views of the people who've participated uh, and that they're able to use those views uh, and influence the decision makers. Uh, at the end of the day, if your voice isn't listened to, um, then the process doesn't have really the value. So the important thing for me is that the Royal Society are able to use the outputs from uh, this event uh, and influence people.